Hi, beautiful Leo. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Leo, I have been away for about five weeks. I'm going to take a, a little bit of a moment here to just explain. Um, I've been sick. My boy has been sick and uh, we're finally back. You still hear it in my throat a little bit, but the energy is back and I've been going through this cleanse. I had this cleanse on my new channel by me, not by me, my true north uh, that started on Buy Me a Coffee, the, the collaboration with Buy Me a Coffee, which led me to think that, and I'm not going to take time on it here. I'm going to take time at the end of the reading about the extended readings. If you're a person who really mostly loves to come to the extended reading and it's, you know, these readings here on YouTube are for you to figure out, is this my reading? Do I resonate with this? Do I feel curious about going deeper into this message because if you're not I don't recommend you coming to the extended so this reading is also about like figure out is this for me or not and if it is I want to I want to talk to you about a little bit of changes that has been going on now uh, while I've been sick <clears throat> that I want to move the extension but I'm going to talk to about that in the end and not take time for your from your reading here we'll just write right right into it dive right into it we have just come out of a full moon in Gemini. We have just come out of like just uh, the solstice that has, uh, you see that I'm really poofy here today. I cried my eyes out yesterday. I know I've been going through this cleanse for a month. I've been sort of holding a lot of energy for a lot of other people. So yeah, it has taken a little bit of a toll on my physical body. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yesterday through the cancer reading... <laughs> I just lost it. It was like a trigger point, And you see the poofiness in my face today. It's like the type of ugly cry you have when you were five years old. And like, like you see that I'm looking like right now. So <clears throat> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the shift around the solstice. There is a shift going on. I have said this since I was probably not even existing. There's a shift going on. Uh, but like... It's like these are the times. It's happening right now. I don't know if you feel it, Leo. I feel it for sure. Okay. What is going on for Leo for a month into the future? Or basically when you find this reading. Uh, so we're like then around the 20th of January of 2022. How cool is that? It's sort of nice to get out of this way too many cards, Leo. I know you're a Leo, but come on. <laughs> and I'm allowed to say that because I'm a Leo myself. So it's, I'm just making fun of myself. Money. Find a way to abundance. <clears throat> Very similar in color. Before we sort of look into the meanings and the text and like look at the colors. It looks like there's just a continuation of the same card and it's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Do you see that? I love these images a lot. Mystical wisdom. Um, so the money card came out first, although I feel... <clears throat> I'm going to say with this first card, uh, resilience. So I usually uh, call this card my, my um, Cinderella card. Like, because she, she has this glass shoe on and then she's dropped the other shoe. And, you know, she's running. It feels like it's midnight and she's running. She's afraid that, you know, all her uh, beautiful things are going to go back to normal. And to me, because of the money card where things slow down things i love that we have the moon ah oh, there's so like there's so much like okay so we have this big moon we have this full moon maybe a little bit of solstice there as well and then we have the moon right there i don't know if you quite see it but it has like calmed down it's like right around this full moon, or right around the solstice, there's been a lot of action, like, like afraid, asking for a whole lot of things, Leo, asking for a whole lot of things, and then 
sort of afraid that the other shoe is going to drop or afraid that your Cinderella story is going to end or like you're never going to get your Cinderella story. Maybe you didn't even feel like you got to your Cinderella story. Um, what does that mean? Like, it, it's like, okay, so we're starting to, starting to get somewhere. You're starting to see this life for yourself that you want to live. And then it feels like it's taken away from you. Or it's like you never even saw that. Like, you, yeah, I've had a dream about how I wanted, how I wanted it to be, but I, it, I even haven't gotten to that. So there's like a, this is where we come from. And there's like a lot of influence from the moon, like a lot of uh, energy influence here. And then it's like, but now we're coming into this place where everything calms down. I just feel a little bit of rush in this card. And a, and a calm, like a peaceful calm, <laughs> a peaceful calm, same color, same, same, like a lot of activity, but we have calmed down on the second card. The second card is where you're starting to find your roots. You're starting to find this transformation that leads to just a really beautiful calming place. Seems that a lot of money is finally coming in so i don't know if you've been like doing a project you've been you've been wanting to have something to be up and running afraid that the other shoe is going to afraid that it's not going to work afraid that it's not going to be what you thought it was going to be or like maybe putting your investments on the line like like trying to invest in something but not seeing the result or not seeing any money sort of coming out of it but here it is this is you finding your way to abundance and i see a relationship in here beautiful relationship uh i see the the silver and golden wolf whatever that means for you i'm just getting that it's significant it's like a silver and golden wolf it can even be like um that's what i'm getting so this is my guess now like the silver turns to gold but it can be equally important that it's just it's equally important that we have have them both that makes sense I love this beginning. It's like a rushed energy with a lot of things going on. And it's like over this coming month, it's like everything will just calm down and get smoother. And we have a wish fulfillment there with a with a star. A star shooting. A wish fulfillment like over the moon. Like you're over the moon. Um, and it just calms down. There's still so much activity, but it's like you have it organized. So let's go deeper into this message. What? What? Why is this here for Leo? What can we tell them <clears throat> about this energy? Three of Raphael. No. Three of Ariel and the King of Raphael. So <clears throat> the first card is... So three of Ariel. I'm just going to read. Um, Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career and artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. So it's equally busy. Like it's very, very busy. There's so much going on. But it's, it's, it's calming down, it's getting organized, and you're getting creative. Like when Leo gets creative, nothing can stand in their way. Like there's just this... Do you see how creative you are? And you're on top of that, like opening the Pandora's box. It doesn't really focus. You're opening Pandora's box there. So you're creating a whole lot of things. And I think, I think it's almost like you stumble over something. In my world, you can, there's no such thing as stumbling over something. That will be like a full uh, created manifestation on your part. However, it feels like you go about your day or you go about your daily routine and the stuff that you do, the stuff that Leo does, uh, that is very creative, like you're coming back into your creative juices, your creative flow, but it's still sort of in the, 
in the realm of things that you know, if that makes sense. And then all of a sudden, it's almost like you stumble just because you kept, it's like saying you meditate. This is an analogy, so it's not, it doesn't have to be this, but like as an, uh, as an analogy, you meditate every morning, let's say. You sit down for 20 minutes and you meditate or half an hour or whatever. Um, and you meditate and you go about it in your like normal routine and this is how you usually meditate and you um, come out of the meditation and you know it's all good and it's like if you just continue to do that it's like you you do your normal routine you continue to meditate and you continue to meditate and you continue to meditate you don't shift all that much in the meditation sometimes it's a guided meditation sometimes it was 25 minutes and sometimes it's 15 minutes you know that's the shift but it's the same you're doing the same thing, but because you're doing the same thing over and over again, it's like you're unlocking something. It's like having, I know you're not stupid, you get what I mean. It's having like a pot with water on the stove and you turn the heater on and that's the same. Like we have the pot on the stove and we have the same temperature on, but leaving it on like and, and, and letting it just simmer and leaving it on time. And if you don't get the thing off, will actually eventually burn. But like, it will start to boil if you just continue to do the same thing. Does this make sense? And I think that in itself, I think maybe you think that you needed to, do, like, in order to access whatever is going to sort of unlock for you, I think that you think that you probably would have needed to like take a course or take a class or sit down with a very special intention to unlock this thing uh, or whatever this is. But no, you just have to stick to your daily routine about something and eventually the water is going to boil. If you sort of just leave it be and you just continue to do the same thing, you don't move the, the, the pot from the stove, we don't change the temperature, we're doing this, we're just leaving it be, we're doing the same thing, eventually it's going to boil. I think that's a really good analogy. Uh, if I... <laughs> uh, and then, so it's, un, it's like you're unlocking something, you're really creative from the beginning, but you're stumbling onto something, you're coming across something that you want, but I, I don't think you think that it, that was the way that it was going to come about. With the king of Raphael, where it says, yes, it's safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. It's so fitting. There's so many things at once. There's so many things going on at once but if you just continue like just trust your intuition and just follow what you're doing because you're on the right track and on the right path to something and you're really onto something big because it's it's like on your way there on your way to normal on your way in normal routine is unlocking something greater and this greater is safe to trust whatever you're unlocking it's safe to trust Raphael is all about healing, becoming whole, uh, love, like it's just, it, 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 it holds you, it's, it's just there to, um, I don't want to say protect, but like, it's there to hold you, is the best that I can say there. Okay, going deeper into this message, what else can we give Leo around this? Cheers, everyone. Higher power, flexible, and treasure island. <clears throat> so the higher, I love this card. I'm going to actually read out of the book. Um, okay. Like <laughs> Spirit would never tell me to shut up, but sometimes it feels... Sometimes it feels like it. It's not that it's not harsh energy whatsoever, but sometimes it's like, okay, I'm not supposed to say anything else. <laughs> uh, 
four. Higher power. It doesn't really matter if I bring it closer to you. It's very uh, light in its colors, so it's not that it's not fo it's not that it's not focused. It's just really light. Um, higher power. Essential meaning of this card: conscious contact with higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. The oracle's message says. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal, you have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. So maybe I wasn't too way off to to uh, take meditation as an, an analogy, as as I never like I don't just pick something random. It's obviously I'm being given what analogy I'm going to use as well. So of course it's going to fit. But I I just love when it's synchronistic like that. Um, um, you have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust uh, that there is a plan for, you, for your life more wondrous than you could ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. This is so fitting. With the, uh, There's more, but I just have to say... We're saying like, okay, you're just getting, coming into this creative flow. And this creative flow is going to, and and like repeating something over and over again, just doing you, doing whatever it is that you're doing, is going to unlock something. There's a, there's a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. Like there's a, something you're going to come across. You're going to stumble. It feels like you're going to stumble over it. But on some level, you've asked for it or, or you couldn't, like you would never attract it. Um, and the fact that we have like King of Raphael that I said, you have all the support, like you're, you're not, because I don't want to use the word protected, because if you want to use um, guardedness, protectiveness, like words like that, there's always something to be guarded or protected against. And we don't want to we don't we don't want to activate that and we don't want to get into that energy we just want to feel carried uh held uh nur nur nourished nurtured like those are really good energies because then it doesn't sort of work against anything or like we don't have to attract anything bad does that make sense um and that this beautiful higher power is really working through you I mean, it does at all times, but it's probably going to get very, very clear that it does. And definitely through meditation and prayer. So let's get on with it. Relationship message is saying, it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, God is spirit or any other name that is, a sacred, that is as sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates um, that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connection and remain aware of your true nature. And the prosperity message says, uh, sometimes your work just flows through you Ideas come rushing in and inspiration bubbles up from a wellspring of a wellspring you didn't even know you, you could access. When you enter agreements, begin projects and negotiate deals with spirit as your partner, you will always succeed. Let your higher power lead. Um, the synchronicities and intuitive nudges you feel will help you see which way you are being pointed giving you confidence to move forward in the right direction. Don't forget to give credit where it's due. You wouldn't be a success without Spirit's guidance. Humility will serve you well when this symbol appears. So there is a major, major um, 
relationship, uh, connection going on with spirit, between Leo and spirit right now. And we see this as, um, I mean, there's not too much talk about like relationships. This is more like you figuring out, figuring it out. <clears throat> like how we have just sort of never seemed to manifest or get the life that we truly want. But now it's calming down. You know how to work with it. It's almost like you know how to turn the silver into gold with a wolf. You know how to tame a wolf. The The moon is calmed down. We have the... And now it almost looks like... It almost looks like the the thing continues here. You see? Like it cross, crosses borders. The wish fulfillment. As you calm down and you find your creative juices again and you continue to do something like on a everyday basis... You're accessing what it said. You're accessing something that you didn't even know you could access. You're stumbling over something, unlocking something that is safe to trust. You're working so closely with spirit right now. You're being asked to be flexible. This is just all I'm getting with this. You're being asked to be flexible at this time. Just sort of just go with the flow and see where then the higher power wants to lead you. Because you're going to end up in Treasure Island. And with a the turtle there, it says, slow and steady wins the race. I know Leo doesn't like that, but slow and steady wins the race. And maybe you already have felt like you've done the slow and steady part. And so now it's like it's time to come into fruition. So this is where you manifest all your wishes, all your dreams. But slow and steady wins the race. So I'm going to take this into the extension. So if you feel like you're interested in that, stick around because I'm going to explain how this works from now on. If not, then you can turn the video off. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Happy holidays, everyone. So <clears throat> I moved. I still have my account with Vimeo, and this is like a test run. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to take my extended videos, and I'm going to post them on Buy Me A Coffee. And this Buy Me A Coffee site is a donation site. It's based on donation. I know some people tell me that I'm super crazy for doing this, but I just want to give it a try. And I trust it and that's all I can, like, I can trust myself. Um, and if I can trust myself, I, can, I, I just have to try. And so I urge you, I inspire you to get your own account. And I posted a link down below to get to the Buy Me Coffee site. I posted a link where I have uh, done a video about more about what exactly the Buy Me Coffee site is about. Because I also inspire you as a creator to get on there. You have nothing to risk. You have nothing to lose. You have everything to gain. And if you have something that you want to share with the world, I think it's a really good site for you to do so on. So check that out if you want to as a creator as well. Um, but just as a supporter of my work, as a supporter of to get to the extended reading, uh, I, I um, inspire you to get your own account. And then you pay a, a cup of coffee. So that's three euros, or I think that is around two or three dollars. And once you pay, make that payment, you're in as a, as a supporter. And then actually, you could, for the rest of your life, not pay one dime. And you still have access to every single reading that I'm posting there for every single sign. But my hope is that obviously you're going to be um, trustworthy. You're going to be honest about this. So that when I post a reading, you go in and you donate however much you feel is appropriate for the, for the reading. So it's based on donation. You pay whatever you want. You pay when you want. So you can pay when I haven't uploaded anything. You don't have to pay immediately when... Because sometimes we're just down on our luck. We're down on money. And we may want to see something. But we know like three or four days later is when we're going to get a little bit more money. So you watch your video and then you make a donation later. Or not. This month I really didn't feel it. Okay, then you don't have to. So I'm going to try this out. I hope you like it. Please get back with comments to me. Um, if there's anything like that seems tricky or if you need help in any way, you know, it's in my best interest that it works for you. So, so bombard me with questions if you have any. Um, and I hope to see you there on Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, you will find my true north on Buy Me A Coffee as well. I think that's it. 
Happy holidays, everyone. I hope to see some of you at the extension.